One of the food commodities that has an important meaning for Indonesian people is rice, because rice is the main staple food for most of the Indonesian's population. Almost 97% of Indonesian's population consumes rice as their main staple food. This indicates how high Indonesian's population depend on rice. The average rice consumption of Indonesian's population in 2010 reached 139.15 kg per capita per year, while the amount of rice consumed directly in household based on 2010 Susana's data was 100.76 kg per capita per year. This number is very far compared to other Asian countries, which only consumes around 40 until 80 kilograms of rice per capita per year. Meanwhile, the FAO standard for rice consumption is 60 until 65 kilograms per capita per year. This means that the Indonesian population rice consumption has exceeded the global standards. Meanwhile, the ongoing population growth is predicted not to be able to harmonize with Indonesians' ability to producing rice. And finally, importing is the solution that government will choose to force the existing needs. To achieve point two in SDGs that related to food security, we must start looking for sustainable solution to false basic food needs without continuing to depend on imported purchases. Food security exists when all people at all times have physical, social, and economic access to sufficient, safe, and nutritious food which meet their dietary needs and food preferences for an active and healthy life. The definition of food security by Mercy Corps, people are considered um, food secure when they have availability and adequate access at all times to sufficient, safe, nutritious food to maintain a healthy and active life. One of the efforts that we can do is to increase the diversification of food available in the market by making sorghum a staple food choices. In Indonesia, sorghum is the third food cereal after rice and corn. Although the potential of sorghum in Indonesia is quite large, with a variety of varieties, both local and introduced, the development is not easy. Many problems are faced, including social, cultural, and psychological, where rice is considered a prestigious food or superior food, while sorghum is less prestigious or inferior food, while wheat is very prestigious imported food ingredient in Indonesia. Sorghum is a complementary food ingredient for rice, which has a competitive advantage over other cereals such as corn, wheat, and rice. Sorghum contains functional food elements. Sorghum seed contains 73% carbohydrate, 3.5% fat, and 10% of protein. Sorghum also contains a high level variety of antioxidant, mineral element, especially iron, dietary fiber, gluten including an SP, carbohydrate, and others. Functional food is very useful for preventing disease that related to immune system, endocrine, nervous system, digestive system, and circulatory system. In the process of planting, sorghum can grow in dry soil and minimal rain percentage area. So, this characteristic makes sorghum have a lot of potential to develop in many areas in Indonesia. By supporting the consumption of sorghum and its processed product, we support the diversification food in Indonesia. We hope that after sorghum enters the rank of superior food, food security in Indonesia will be even stronger because we have a lot of food choices and not hanging on rice anymore.